All right, football bill, man. We about to, hey, about to talk about something interesting. It's, it's, it's crap today. Um, took a look at the transfer portal. Transfer portal. We got to do a segment called. We got a segment called a portal. We're gonna start putting it out. Um, this, maybe weekly, maybe bi-weekly, but we're gonna start putting it out because there aren't a lot of places you can go and look at portal information. Um, so we're gonna sit it right here on your table and just talk about a few kids. You can't not talk about it all, but quick synopsis, a quick look on, a quick view on how I felt about the portal. When the portal, the portal first came out, I thought it was great. I thought that, hey, look, college coaches do what they want to do. They come and go as they please, and kids are a lot of times stuck at schools in bad situations. We've heard about a lot of these situations with some of these kids. A kid can commit today to play defense at Nebraska, and then Tomorrow, his defense coach that recruited him is headed to go coach at LSU. And the kids will be stuck. So when the transfer for poor portal was, was created, I was like, oh, okay, they, they're giving kids some leverage. Some leverage, some, 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 some skin in the game, um, some flexibility. I talked to my man T, T, producer, and T was like, "Nah, man, I don't think I don't I don't think that's a good idea." Um, and I was like, "Oh no, bro! Like, listen, I think it gives them a chance to 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 take control of the, of their own future and not just be handcuffed by the NCAA." And T was like, "Nah, I don't think that's a good idea. I don't think 18 year old kids should have that much uh should, should have that much um should, should have that much what's the word uh." responsibility or or, or, or or should have to make a decision so detrimental to their future um, on their own. Um, fast forward maybe three months, man, and I can see what he was saying. I, I get it now. If you look at the transfer portal, it looks like Amazon.com. It looks like Toys R Us or something. Uh, it, it's name after name after name after name. Um, Probably over 50 quarterbacks. Who knows, man? Maybe 100 by this morning. And those are just the quarterbacks. The, uh, and I see how it's a place where kids can go to die, like a graveyard for college football players if you don't jump in the portal with a plan to land at another school or a connection to land at another school. Um, so we're going to – so we got a segment that we're going to just start talking about some of the kids that are in the portal um, or just recently jumped in the portal. And um, right off back, Amar Richardson's little brother, running back out of Auburn. Um, I actually saw him play in high school. I covered him in high school. Um, and, and him versus um, uh, Avante Williams um, played in the game. And I went to go cover the two. Went on to Auburn. We thought he would come to Miami like Amar Richards, but he did it. Went on to Auburn, played a few games, got bigger, looked stronger, um, was playing at the end of the season. He jumped in the portal recently. And now it's being rumored, being rumored that, uh, that, that Miami may be looking at him, right? Uh, it's being rumored that Miami may be looking at, uh, at, at the running back. Big kid, um, Miami running back room is, is, is full. Um, so I'm not sure what that would be, what would be about. Um, I know his brother, his, his, brother, his brother basically tweeted that Miami already reached out, right? Yes. Yeah, so um, Mar Richards tweeted that Miami already reached out. But man, if you, if you check out the portal, uh, it's amazing some of the names in there. I mean, one of the bigger names in there, Mackenzie Milton. We know his story. UCF kid tears, out, tears up his knee. He's back. He'll be headed to Florida State. Uh, a significant one to me is a, a childhood friend of mine, Peter Parrish, son was one of the best quarterbacks in Louisiana. He didn't come, I think it was the Louisiana, Alabama, ended up going to LSU there maybe a year. He's jumped in the portal. Virginia Tech court, Hendon Hooker. Jawan Pass. I mean, some of these kids have actually started in college football and played on national TV, and now they're in the portal. TJ Pleasure, running back, OU. Demarcus Bowman, we covered him in high school um, out, out of Lakeland, five star running back, ran all over St. Thomas and at State. Now, that's what he was known for. He was at Clemson for maybe a second. I think he jumped in the portal right after he committed. I think he put the hat on, 
I think he put the hat on and jumped off the table and went and jumped right in the portal. Um, but the list goes on and on. So this is what what we're going to do. Uh, now, when it comes to Miami, Miami haven't had a bunch of kids jump in the portal. Um, Jan Williams um, jumped in the portal. We had Hightower, who I was real high on coming out of high school. I covered Hightower a lot in high school. Uh, real mild-mannered kid. Jumped in the portal, ended up at Illinois. Um, we posted, <laughs> we scored a touchdown this year. We posted it, got mixed reviews on it. Uh, one of the significant ones, who I was really high on, was five-star Lorenzo Lingard. Five-star Lorenzo Lingard uh, got in at Miami. This was the weird thing. When we would see Lorenzo Lingard play, he would have success. Uh, spring game, I think he played against Bethune Cookman, I think he played against. Um, Savannah State, um, yeah, House of the Blind, but he played in D1 football. And if the, the, the thing around Lorenzo Lingard, it was just the word was is that he couldn't get it right mentally. Like he mentally, not the physical part of the game, mental part of the game he was struggling with. He jumped in the portal, ended up at Florida, didn't get on the field this year. And now they're talking, I mean, it's hearing words that he may be trying out linebacker. Um, he looks like a linebacker, so I don't know. That may work for him. Um, but the but but we're going to have we, we're going to we're going to have a segment about the portal. Just to keep you informed of some of the kids that's jumping in the portal. Um, recently, Miami Hurricane Patrick Joyner has jumped in the portal um, from down south. Um, so. Got the from Tennessee. Uh, yeah, we just picked up the kid who got stabbed in high school with DeAndre, DeAndre Johnson. DeAndre Johnson. Miami just picked up the kid. This is a South Ridge kid, so I'm sure there's Coach Cooney connection there. Um, so, uh, sometimes they, uh, colleges don't like taking chances on kids they don't know. Uh, but he was basically famous known for the girl stabbing him at school, uh, beat that, overcame that, went to Tennessee. He's in the portal. But I can see how the portal is going to be a place where, in a few years, where you're not going to want to be in the portal, <laughs> um, in no man's land. Um, so I'm a man of my word. So I can tell you right now, I thought the portal was going to, was an awesome thing. But I'm starting to realize it's like a athlete Gary job for college athletes. And i um, not sure if it's a good thing anymore, man. So y'all stay locked in for the Portal Man segment. We're going to start putting out there. Uh, football video, y'all make sure y'all like, share, uh, subscribe, and if you really, really care, man, join. Become a member. Blue button down there somewhere. All right, Football video, D, I'm out.